What's up everybody? Welcome back to Mike's Tool Shed. This is another corporate shill video. I <laughs> I was about to say I, I can't say no to anybody, but I actually do turn these 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 companies down quite frequently. It's probably like 50-50 ratio. Um, a lot of the stuff I can't use, but if I think I can use it um, or I'd like to uh, try it out, then I'll I'll say go ahead, send it send it on over. So these are three things. They're not really competing companies in any way, so I figured I'd do all three things in one video. You get to see kind of some of the shit that companies want to offer me, and um, they could offer you too if you just start your own crappy YouTube channel. So the first thing was this multi-tool. This is by a company called New Wild. Um, it's 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 your you know it's your uh, pliers kind of multi-tool. Um, it's spring-loaded, and I cannot see the spring, so it's captured in here somewhere, which I guess is good. It keeps it out of the dirt and everything. And then these are the tools you have a cross-hatched uh, file on the other side is just like a single focus single hatch with kind of a uh, a blade like a hacksaw blade kind of metal cutting blade here and then you have a beefy flathead at the end all right so that's one of the tools um, I'm not really sure what this is if this is supposed to be a flathead it is very rounded off so I'm not really sure about that but that's all that is um, you got like a double Bottle opener, can opener combo. Um, that's where you would cut into the can with. And then you have a regular awl right there. A little, just a little pointy bit. And on this side, you have like a three, maybe two and three quarter, three inch blade. Um, pretty damn sharp. Um, then you have a Phillips head. Another one of these little poking bits. That's not very, it's kind of rounded off on the top. I'm not really sure. You could maybe use this as like a kind of a blunt awl if that's uh, there's such a thing as that. <laughs> and then this serrated blade, which is pretty damn sharp, like good for cutting rope. Cut, you could probably uh, manage cutting a tree branch down with that or something. And then you have your pliers, which have the wire cutters in the middle, some curved jaws, and then some of the needle nose jaws here at the tip. Um, all black, black everything. Folds up pretty nice. I can say that this this is twenty dollars, give or take twenty one, twenty two dollars. Um, not bad quality for twenty bucks. And it does also include this. Comes with this fire starter. It's tethered together, so you have your little striking, your little striking blade here. And I guess you could take this and you, know, you could slowly shave off some of the flint, and then. Uh, get it going it's a decent little flint and this also has a whistle yeah, it's got a whistle on the end comes with this little nylon case belt loop and it's got a little pocket on the back for the other things something that's a little concerning but I think maybe is kind of cool too they actually include this little L key Torx for the bits for the fasteners on here uh, these should be loctited and you, sh you shouldn't they shouldn't give you a tool to fix it but it's kind of good that they do so you're not screwed um, if the thing really starts coming loose on you, you would need a separate tool to tighten everything up. So that can fit right in the pouch of the case. Not bad for 20 bucks. Um, this is a good dad gift. 20 bucks. I think it looks like uh, it looks like a higher quality than $20 item. Um, I'm gonna throw it in my work van and uh, just use it for things inside the van. Uh, I keep the Leatherman in the drawer in the kitchen, so. This will be a good backup. And I can say, if you've ever had the Winchester one that you get at Walmart, or any of the cheap $10, $15, $20 ones at Walmart, I do believe this is a better quality than those. But uh, not up to Leatherman standards by any means, but not bad for $20. Um, the next thing is this laser temp gun by Synerky, if that's how you pronounce it. And uh, this is 9-volt powered. That's what that little hole right there is for. I've never had one of these. I think this is pretty cheap too. I think this is 20, 25 bucks. Um, and it's got some decent features. It's not just point and shoot. I mean, it is. So it's got a backlight that automatically comes on. And then you can turn the backlight on and off. And then you can turn the laser on and off. So you do not have to be shooting the laser to get it temperature reading. You just don't really know exactly what you're shooting at. Like, uh, let's see, W, let's see, gas, can of gas. 57, chisel. 58, yeah, it's all about 50 degrees out here. Beer, 43, 44, it should be a little lower than that, but um, it's got a min-max feature, so there's the max of anything I hit, there's the minimum, 
and it kind of re keeps recording that as you use it. Like I said, it takes 9 volt battery, pretty clear screen. Um, I tested it against my other little thermometer device, which is a little pocket keychain thing, and it was pretty pretty damn close, within a half a degree. The uh, keychain thing doesn't have a laser on it, so it wasn't able to get the exact same spot of the measurement, but it's not bad. For 20 bucks, I believe. I'll put a link in the description to these things. Um, the only, only My only gripe was that here's the, where the battery goes, and you have to get the battery in there perfectly for that little um, nipple there. Right there. That little dent corresponds with one of them little nips. And then I, I had a, a little bit of a problem getting the battery in tight, but once I did, it worked pretty good. Um, kind of cheap plastic. It doesn't seem like it would be that durable, but um, like I said, for 20 bucks, it seems like it's pretty accurate. Beers are around 41 degrees. Um, I like it. I like it. It's uh, I, I wouldn't go and spend 50 or or $100 on one of these, and if you're kind of in the same boat as that, this isn't a bad option. I... Uh, like I said, I tested it against a couple other things, and it seemed to be accurate. So, not bad. A couple little features. And it goes, uh, oh. And it, obviously it has, for anyone else in the world, it has Celsius in, in, built into it. I might actually keep this on Celsius and flip back and forth to get more familiar, because a lot of times I hear Celsius, and I can't, depending on what the temperature is, I can't really quantify it in my head to Fahrenheit. Um, I know zero and a hundred degrees Celsius, I know about where they're at, but if you say 23 degrees Celsius, I kind of have <laughs> no clue what that is. Well, 50 degrees is like 9 degrees, so there we go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use this as a learning tool. And then this is another thing from Aldo. Um, they actually offered me something more expensive than this. They were really happy with me doing their videos on their stuff, and I think so far their stuff's been good. It's not bottom-of-the-barrel Chinese-grade stuff. It's... Um, I think a lot of their stuff's rebranded, but they're they're um, uh, they're picking better quality things to put their name on. And I have uh, the the back of my work van is dim as shit, and I noticed this on Amazon that they sold this. Um, one thing they show the lights spread out, and which is only possible if you completely hack this thing up. They are really bright. Um, I think it's going to do the trick. I'm going to probably do another video about these um, once I do the install, but it is going to be kind of tedious because I am probably going to have to hack these up and space them apart farther. I kind of wish they included a little more length of wire between the individual little pucks here. But they do give you, uh, shit, this might be like 20 feet of wire. Let me see here. Oh yeah, they give you a good 20 feet of wire. So I don't know how exactly I'm going to wire this into the van if I'm going to go right up the dome lights. Um, I don't know what they draw for this whole line of them. Or I'm going to come off with a separate uh, separate auxiliary fuse and actually put a switch on them somewhere. I might just do the dome light because that way, no matter whether I go from the back or the front, instead of having to run some DC three-way switch setup, um, I'm just going to probably hook it into the dome light for now. And they, they may do okay with the straight line because it is kind of long. I believe it's eight lights. One, two, three, four. Yeah, there's eight lights and it's probably four foot long. So that right down the middle of the van, that might do the trick, but uh, I'm gonna try that first, obviously. But here, I'll give you a demonstration. Right, get them all flipped over. But they're pretty bright. I just don't know how that's going to translate into the back of a dark work van. Yeah, that's pretty bright. It's it's going to be an improvement over the stupid, like, one dim-ass bulb all the way at the back of the van. It doesn't do shit. It, uh... You can't, you can't look, you can't see anything. You can just kind of not step on, you know, um... You can see where things are or they are not, but you can't see what the hell they are. So I'm going to give this a shot, probably do a video, maybe incorporate that into like a van tour or something. But uh, that's it. That was my free tool haul, uh, the multi-tool, the new wild multi-tool, the Synerky infrared thermometer. This is a 50 degrees, negative 50 C to 650 C. So it's a pretty good range. And these eight little LED light pods from Aldo, and they actually, they actually do have their name stamped into the plastic, which makes this 
le a lot less likely of a, a total rebranding. At least they, they, they at least get their name right there on the uh, on the device, and you got positive and negative marked throughout with the wire color and the tails coming out of it. So I'm gonna give these a shot. They come with tape. No, it does not appear to be 3M double-sided tape, which I don't wouldn't really trust these in the back of the van. But it does have a hole in the middle, so I can screw up into the ribbing, the structural ribbing into the van or something else back there. Haven't really decided exactly what I'm doing with those, but. That's it. That's uh, Those are the things that I said yes to. <laughs> um, as much as I would like to just get things and uh, that I don't want at all, where I wouldn't have any use for, and then just slam them, you know, I'm a little more picky than that, I guess. <laughs> so that's it. I got a new tool coming this week, probably on Friday. So look for that next weekend. Um, probably sometime this week I'm going to get into these things, um, but maybe not. Like I said, that job I'm working on is kind of a pain in the ass, and it's uh, very, very hectic right now, very fast-paced, and uh, crazy deadlines. So that's it. My three things that I got for free. Thanks for watching.